Hello, this is Dan, and today I'm going to give you a Blender 2.58 modeling tutorial and texturing and all that good stuff. So, um, I'm going to be telling you today how to model a gun. Medium poly, uh, I wouldn't say it's for Blender games, but I'd say it's more for the Unity game engine, so maybe uh, if I learn how to script. I can do some scripted tutorials with that gun and show you all stuff like that, like how to animate it, how to texture it, uh, tangent baking, stuff like that. So I really have to learn how to tangent bake first, but I guess we'll get straight ahead with it. So I'm going to really take my time with this. I'm going to explain everything. So the first thing you want to do here is we're going to teach you how to make a P90. Oh. So what you want to do first is go to Google. Uh, you want to get a good high resolution texture so if I just type in P90 uh, as you can see here uh, when you look at these it's like 600 by 257 no fail too small it'll be blurry okay what you want to do you want to click large oh -ho. so I would normally go for something such as that but it's not all that more more to the point but I've already found a good texture which is here uh, and it's 3000 by 2000 which is hella tight so we're gonna be modeling off this which is better so uh, I'm also using this to kinda look at different 3D parts to kind of judge how these are uh, made so we're gonna be making a low poly mesh now and then we'll make the high poly mesh after that and, and add the detail and things like that I might do it in ZBrush but I suck at ZBrush so I don't know so Let's go into Blender. This is Blender 2.58. It's the most up-to-date one, and you can get this on Blender.org for free. So, if I just do this. First thing you want to learn, if you're new to Blender and you're looking at this uh, in the hope of uh, my not-so-much expertise, uh, basically to navigate through the 3D view, uh, it's the middle mouse button, and drag that to go around. Uh, you scroll up and down to zoom in and out. Uh, you, I gotta stop saying uh, that's one thing I have to do, so when you hold shift in the middle mouse that moves it around like that which is an incredibly helpful tool. So now what you want to do is you want to learn how to select things, so right click to select and then shift and right click to select multiple things, delete and enter because we don't need the light in the camera. One thing you must never do is left click. Now this is because uh, this here, if I was to spawn a cube by spawn <laughs> by clicking add mesh cube or shift a mesh cube, it then spawns up there or places it up there, not spawns. So I'm just going to delete that and to put that back there you want to press shift and C. Why it zoomed in I'll never know but okay so it's back there and anything we do will be on that exact axis which will be amazing for us to really align everything because we're going to be using multiple pieces here to model our guns so the next thing you want to do is click view and write and then you want to press 5 on the number pad so that uh, you got this grid here and it's hmm I think it's perspective not oh I don't know who cares <laughs> just press 5 so it's easy right and what we're doing next is then pressing N for Norman background image, add image, not set and open, go to wherever the image is and uh, for instance mine's on the desktop and it's called combat arm p90, open the image and put the opacity to 1. Okay, right, now the next thing you want to do is we're gonna get, we're gonna get started, what, yes actually that was correct grammar, we're gonna get started on modeling the guns, so what you really want to do here is just right click the cube uh, you can you can zoom in if you want so you can see the picture better but what we're gonna do is we're gonna press s to scale that down and we're gonna left click on this blue arrow and drag that up and shift d shift d for daniel which is my name yay and then you're just gonna drag that over to here like so right and the next step then is to press z or z depending on whether you're English or American and then we're gonna press tab and I'm just gonna navigate here so that's shift and middle mouse and then I'm gonna zoom in and what we're doing here now is I'm gonna press A to deselect everything you can press A again to select everything so if I press B for Barry 
and then I hold left click and I drag it over here as you can see it selects all the faces so now one thing I forgot to mention is if you don't want to press Z and you'd rather model like this be sure to check this icon here so that way you can select the faces behind there otherwise if that was selected you can't see the faces so you can't select them so uh, that's one thing you should definitely do so now what we're gonna do is do what we did to move this cube here but do it to the vertices so what we're gonna do or the face rather we're just gonna drag that down so it's touching there and now we're gonna press A to deselect those and then we're gonna do a different way of selecting faces which is pressing C for Gears of War Carmine Gears of War uh, sorry I like Gears of War but yeah and we're just gonna left click there and say you were to select that on accident all you have to do is hold the middle mouse button and just drag it over and that's that so what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna quickly do this and then drag that down uh, everything you just saw there I have mentioned in this video so uh, hope I'm being clear there uh, you weren't listening if you didn't get it but next as you can see I uh, there's a part here and a part coming off here but if I was to move this it would go past oh wait it would go past there uh, and if I were to move this it would go past there so we have to find a way to get a vertice there so to undo by the way is control and Z or Z depending on where you're from and we're gonna move over to the uh, toolbar and to pop that up T for tool so T to take it away and T to bring it back and what we're going to do is something called loop cutting. So I'm just going to click that there. And uh, we're going to drag that there on the vertices. Because what I found is when you're modeling and there's a lot of polys and there's a lot of vertices. If I could do this and I wanted that, uh, I could be like there. And then this one will be selected. So you, if you keep doing that, it's like, it see, you can't see anything. So you want to just put it there or put it there. So we're going to put it here and then drag it up to about there. And then for this, I'm going to loop cut again, just for the sake of it. So, uh, it's a little bit higher poly. Because uh, the key of this is we're not trying to go incredibly high poly, but we're trying to get a substantial amount of detail. So, if I just move that back now. Uh, yeah, that'll do for now, because uh, everything will be beveled, which will make it... If I was just to show you quickly what beveling is, no, I'd rather do it later when it actually comes to using it. How long is this? Almost eight minutes. Wow, we haven't got much done. Hmm. So, next, we're just going to keep using the same old standard tools, except for one, so it's not using same old standard tools. i got to stop contradicting myself. We're going to press E for erection. Sorry, that's all I could think of. And we're going to just drag that along like that. So basically that extrudes it now. So we have an extra part to it. So if I just go back to right and then drag that down. Sorry if I'm acting a bit quick. I'm used to this. It's slow to me, okay? But yeah, we're just going to keep extruding and moving it and doing all that. And we're going to get it fairly rounded. We're not just going to go like four vertices here. We, we, we're definitely modeling semi-high poly. But it's it's pro this gun will probably be about 2k polys. Now for Blender, depending on the power of your PC, you want to model a gun at around say anywhere between 900 faces. Well, anywhere between zero faces to uh, about 1.5k. You don't want to go higher than 1.5k. So having that done, now what we do is I'm going to show you how to merge things. So as you can see here. Uh, we've gotten this part modeled and we don't want to move this and put it there because uh, it, it looks the same and it's just it's just adding to the poly so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna right click the vertice you want to get rid of and then left click the uh, shift and right click the vertice that you want it to be attached to so then we press W for Wally I was gonna say something else but okay and we're gonna go merge and at last or you could say alt an M and then click at last okay and that's basically how you do that so now if I go back into the right view and uh, I just quickly model this a bit more actually actually I've kind of contradicted myself again here but okay but but 
Yeah, that does look a lot better though, doesn't it? Wow, I'm such an idiot. So, after my fail, see, even I make mistakes and I'm making a tutorial. So, okay, but that's one of the many processes of trial and error. Right, so we're just modeling this a bit more now. I need to put that in a bit more. Okay, yep. I'm quite hyper today. I like being hyper because uh, I model a lot faster. So that's good. But yeah, so I haven't been making many tutorials recently. But, you know, I have a life, apparently. I, I never knew I did, but okay. So here we have many unwanted vertices I'm not gonna join any yet because uh, there could be some mesh deformities in the uh, beveling so I'm not gonna do that just yet because I have learned from my mistakes so that is quite bad so I'm just gonna do this okay yeah I have to get a substantial amount of detail in my models uh, it's just a thing that I do so again we're uh, merging again here uh, I like to do the whole W thing because it, it's a lot easier for me. So, right, what we're going to do now is... No, not hide. Okay. No. Oh my god, enough with the contradicting of myself. Right, okay, after that, another fail. Thumbs up for failing. Yay. Uh, we're going to basically do this. Right, okay, there we go. Now, how long's the video? 11 minutes, I got 4 minutes. Okay, so... What we're going to do now is we are going to just select all these faces around here and we're going to extrude and we're just going to what S and then Z Y okay there's that and then S and then X and then we're just going to scale that up like so oh hang on we want to get this a little bit more thing okay like so and then we're going to press S and then X and we're going to move that in like that, okay? And now we're going to do this again, just to kind of get it that little bit more uh, thing. So if I was to do that and then that, move that up like so. And then move that in even further using the thing. Right, so now we've got like a little kind of thing. So I'm just going to quickly perfect this to make it look more uh, thing. Right, that doesn't make it look too bad. No, that's good. So we're just moving it around like this. I'm going to loop cut there, I think, because it looks quite awful. But, okay, so. Right, okay. Uh, that's as good as I want it for now. Uh, no, it's not. I lied. Uh, okay. So, I keep saying, uh, i gotta really, f I got to really learn that, haven't I, guys? So, you know. Don't say it, Daniel. Don't say it. Right, okay. Not only am I at war with myself during my own tutorial, but we have a pretty decent looking grip part for the gun. But now what we... Oh yeah, I said I was going to loop cut that, didn't I? So if I just go loop cut and there, and then do that, that's looking a lot nicer now. And we're just going to do one more step before we go on to this part, and that's doing this bit here. How long do I have? Uh, I think I could do it in a minute and a half. That's cool. So, what we're going to do here, we're just going to select these and this. We're going to do that, and we're just going to move it this time. Be we'll be lazy for now. Uh, okay, so I just want to select this. And... No, we don't. We're just going to move it down like so. So, if I select all these now, and then very carefully and skillfully press S and then X and uh, just move this around to how you want it to be because remember this is your gun fuck the picture my first swear word in this tutorial which is quite awesome wouldn't you agree so uh, there we go if I was to quickly do this and then move that in like so and then I'm talking to myself here I'm not addressing you guys that's bad Okay, so there we go. As you can see now, we've gotten that done. Uh, this will probably be the end of this tutorial. Uh, not the end of the tutorial, but the end of this part, rather. 
which it should be. Yes, it is. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Uh, I'll get the I'll get the others up as soon as I can. I'm gonna be continuing this right after I stop this. Thank you. Goodbye. Just under 15 minutes. Ready.